the story, an encounter in Dubliners, the child narrator is a young boy obsessed with adventure. He learns about American Wild West stories from his school friend Joe Dillon, but he prefers detective stories. The narrator yearns to go on an adventure of his own, so he arranges with Joe's brother Leo and another classmate named Mahoney to skip school for an excursion to the Pigeon House. He collects sixpence from each boy so they can take the ferry across the river the next day. The next morning, Leo doesn't show. The narrator and Mahani make their way toward the wharf, get into a minor fight with some other children who think they're Protestants, eat lunch on the riverfront, and take a ferry before they decide to take a train home. Mahani chases a stray cat into a field, where an old man approaches the boys and sits, reminiscing about his own time as a schoolboy. He asks the boys if either of them has a sweetheart, explaining every boy mm -hmm. has a little sweetheart. These words make the narrator uncomfortable. The old man goes on about girls. Then he excuses himself and walks away into the field. The boys see the old man doing something that makes Mahani say, I say, Ugh. he's a queer old josser. The old man returns to sit by the boys, but Mahani runs after the stray cat again. The man declares Mahani is a wild boy who should be whipped. The narrator calls out to Mahani using the fake name Murphy. Mahani runs across the field to the narrator. The narrator admits he never especially liked Mahani. The child narrator and his friends are inspired by the adventure stories they read and choose the Pigeon House as their destination for a day of skipping school. The Pigeon House was built around 1760 on the south bank of Dublin's port by a man named John Pigeon. It served as an inn for travelers arriving from sea travel, particularly those coming from Wales. The old man's rambling reflections on schoolgirls are creepy and lurid as he focuses on the details of their hair and skin. The monologue sends him off into the field where he does something unspecified. The fact that the narrator does not say what the man does implies it's a lewd act of some kind, possibly masturbation. Mahani's use of the word josser rhymes with tosser, an English and Irish slang term for someone who masturbates. <laughs>